are going to start assembling our uh, automata, putting the gears, the cams, sorry, putting the cams onto our axle here. Remember, we are in the assembly portion of it, not the part studio. So we wanna make sure we are in the assembly portion of it. When I go to the Revolute here, Revolute number one, I can two finger click and animate. And if I hit play, it will start to rotate this uh, handle, which rotates the axle. Now, right now it's on reciprocate. I can change this to loop and it will just continue to go into a circle, round and round and round it goes. Okay, you need to know how to do that because that's part of what you're gonna turn into me. All right, here we go. I'm going to insert my cams. So I'm gonna go and find my cams. Let me do them one at a time. I'm gonna come down here and as you can see, I've been working a lot with other people. I'm gonna start with my circle cam. Bring it out here and remember, when it's the first time you bring it out here, you're going to have to create a new version. Each time it changes, you have to create a new version. So the first time, you might have to create a new version. I've been working with this over and over here. I didn't have to. All right, so this is all going to be planar mates. I'm going to mate this little square onto my square axle here. So first one, I'm going to choose the bottom here and zoom back out and I want to choose this flat surface of the axle. Comes in here and then I might need to move this around. Sometimes when this happens it's uh, not in the center of it so we want to make sure we can use our arrows and we can use our rotates to make it into the right spot. Green check mark. Now I also find it easier if I do the green check mark up here uh, if you're very fluent with this, you can start to uh, do it all in one go. All right, so I moved it out of the way. I'm going to turn my tool back on. Oh, wow, it's really up there. Let me, where the heck did it go? Let me do this. Wow, it's way up there. So before I do that, I want to grab this guy and pull him back down closer, just so I know where he is. And again, that can happen sometimes, uh, especially if you're not paying attention, like obviously I was not paying attention just now. Uh, things can get moved around. All right, so now I need to connect. We've already got it connected with the bottom here. If I start rotating it, you'll notice the bottom of my axle is connected to the bottom of this cam. So here we go. I want to make sure this time I want the top of this axle and I want to connect with the inside. So I'm going to take this, rotate it around and you can use your arrow keys to rotate it. And I want that flat surface, move it around that flat surface. Now, it brought the axle up to me. That's not a big deal. As soon as I say green check mark, it's going to jump back in place. It's way over here. Let me hit X. It's way over here, but when we look at it, it's lined up. If I go to the right view, it's lined up right on that axle and I can't move it off of that axle. So I can grab it, I can pull it in here and now we're close to the right place. The last thing we need to do is we're going to uh, planar mate this wall and this surface. So we want this surface and that wall. When you choose those two, they butt up against each other, but we want it to be offset. So I'm going to say 0.625, enter. But I think that's the wrong direction it went on the outside. So I don't want to hit my arrow. I want it to be negative. So negative 0.625, enter. And there it is, lined up in the right spot, green check mark. So now it's lined up in the right spot. When I spin my cam, or spin the axle, the cam moves and everything moves with it.
All right, that's the first one. We have three more to do. 